So today we've got to talk about something that's been happening in the U.S. since the year 2000 and before that. But let's just take it from 2000 to today and find out what's been happening. I'm talking about gas pipelines and oil pipelines exploding, leaking, causing mayhem all over the U.S. Uh, th this problem is so extreme that it can't be fixed it seems like. So one of the latest one was a pipeline in Alabama that uh, was carrying gas gasoline for the East Coast, one of the major pipelines for carrying gasoline stupid anyway uh, so this thing of course leaked and then was drilled into or got uh, a spark happened and the thing blew up killing one person and injuring five others that were working on the site so not only did people die and get injured but the gasoline prices on the East Coast are jumping wildly now some places as high as 15 percent higher than it was just hours before the uh, explosion it's funny how quickly gas stations will raise their prices but it takes so long to have them come down <laughs> such a cynic So the, the explosion in Alabama consumed over 31 acres of land burnt, crisp, and polluted. This just keeps happening day after day here in the U.S. It's so common, these, these things hardly even get noticed anymore in, the, in any kind of news at all. So how many of these oil and gas pipelines are there? And well, they e easily equal 2.5 million miles of pipes in the U.S. alone. A lot of these are aging and beginning to leak and, and uh, cause all kinds of problems. Here in the Bay Area, we had a huge pipeline explosion and leak down in South City, South, South San Francisco, which killed many people and, and took out a whole neighborhood. It's just amazing. So these accidents actually are terrible because they, in the last 36 years, they have killed over 500 people here in the U.S. alone. That's more than terrorism. And we don't do anything about it. We just add more pipes to the problem. Okay, let's go over because Wikipedia has a list of all the accidents that's happened here in the U.S. with pipes and pipelines. This is going to take a little while, so just uh, hang in there and we'll, we'll get through it. Oh, by the way, you can find the link down in the uh, description area. So it has to be pretty clear just from this little tiny bit of information I put out there is that the oil and gas industry obviously gets favors. They're allowed to kill so many people a year with their product and uh, people in Congress and uh, neither one of the Democrats or the Republicans are talking about this whatsoever. It's a non-issue. Of course, they're not talking about issues anyway. So, um, down in the description area is another link from Greenpeace. They have their latest video about taking Arctic oil to court to stop it. Let's go get the latest on that. Right down in the description area, you can find the link down there. And uh, watch that video as soon as you're done with this video. Uh, before we go, we've got to go and look at the latest CO2 count. The other day it was 403.8. 
That's amazing. 403 already. Usually that number is between four and three, but it's already starting to go up to seven now. I remember I told you a year, over a year ago that we have to watch that number because it's so important. If that number keeps going up and up, it means that the CO2 is increasing more and more, meaning leaking out of more and more discharge from automobiles and factories and that sort of thing, from people ignoring this problem and buying bigger and bigger cars and driving more and more and uh, just doing the opposite of what they should be doing to our poor planet Earth. All right, guys. So I appreciate all the ups and the downs and the new subscribers. And until next time. And don't forget to leave some comments.